Hey guys, Nadja Sapphire here with another Q&A video. Literally I've not been posting because I have no idea what to do videos about. So I just thought I'd do another Q&A. So I've literally a few hours ago, I've just put on Twitter and Snapchat. My Snapchat's gone crazy. I've just put on Twitter and Snapchat um, for people to answer, answering the people to send me in their questions. So I literally have all the questions ready and I'm ready to go. Literally, I know I've got a full face of makeup on today. You know on days when you just feel ugly and you're just like, oh, I want a full face of makeup. And I've just been trying to experiment with eyeshadows. For anyone who's interested, the eyeshadows I've been using today is the Too Faced Chocolate Palette. Too Faced Chocolate Palette, I've used white chocolate. I've used hazel, no, no, sorry, I've used white chocolate. I've used black forest truffle. And I used a bit of Armoretto. And then for the white, uh, lighter bits on my eyes, just to lighten it up, I used uh, my Stargazer palette uh, by Mirel Cosmetics. And I used Smoothing Star, just to lighten everything up. And I've used In Your Dreams as well. In Your Dreams, that's a nice little name, isn't it? So anyway, guys, let's get into the q and I need to be comfy, don't I? Okay, so I'm going to start off with the Twitter questions first. Thatcher88 said, where's the best place to go on holiday? Oh my god, there's so many amazing destinations. I'm going to Madrid in a few weeks, so keep your eyes peeled on Snapchat and Instagram because I've been putting loads of posts on Madrid. I It depends what type of holiday you're looking for. I do love Portugal, I love the weather in Portugal, and I love the food in Portugal. But I also like Malta as well. Most of the places I've been to are Europe. Um, but I would like to go to the Caribbean and America next year. Uh, I'm hoping to book a holiday to Greece next year and also to the Caribbean. I'm not sure if I went to Bahamas, Jamaica, Dominican Republic. If any of you guys have been to the Caribbean, leave some suggestions down below. I'm also thinking as well, like Cancun in Mexico, like that looks amazing. I'm a little bit scared to go to like Mexico City, but Cancun looks so fun and it just looks boiling and to be honest I just like one of the reasons why I love going on holiday is just sending food like literally I'm happy as long as I've got lots and lots of food so Joshua Singleton said are you ever coming back to pro wrestling pride just for one night I miss seeing you live oh that's so sweet you know what I really hope I come back to pride right now I've got no confirmed bookings but hopefully I'll come back soon because I was their first ever women's champion so, um, you know, like, bring me back, I need my rematch. Yeah, actually, you know what? I'm entitled to a rematch. I lost that title, and literally, that was the last show I did for them, so I need my rematch. I'll request my rematch and see if they bring me back. Okay. Josh Johnson said, who is your favourite female independent wrestler? Hmm. I'm trying to think. Depends really like whether it's like independent in like the UK scene or just all around. Like I do like she does work, she does amazing. Plus she's like so funny and so nice and I work there. So yeah, I guess she's one of my favourites. Okay. Z J O for underscore O for O eight said, Can you love me? I don't know you to love you. Um Game Grumps. 11287 said do you do you like the shy quite or the jerky obnoxious kind of guys with like the jerky obnoxious kind of guys i swear like they keep you on their toes like they've always got something to say and like with shy guys sometimes they can be too shy like they don't make a move like not in a sexual way but i mean like make moves and like make it like like show you that they actually are into you if that makes sense like, I feel like shy guys are, like, nice and, like, you know, it can be quite sexy. But then, like, they've got to get, like, comfortable with you to not be shy anymore. Um, some guys who can be jerky, obnoxious, can just be annoying and you just want to slap them in the face. But then, like, some of them, like, as long as, like, they're not too sure of themselves, they can be a bit sexy. Like, you know, cocky can be a bit sexy. Count your Chris said, would you ever pose nude for a magazine or something similar? 
Um, no, I don't really think I'd pose nude for a magazine. I'd do glamour modelling, so I'd do like an underwear or lingerie shoot if it was something like FHM, Nuts magazine, stuff like that. But I don't think I'd actually want to get like my foofy and my nipples out. I think it'd be a bit, a bit too provocative for me. So Cody Collier said, who in WWE, given a chance, would you like to face in the future and why? Natalia. I feel like I could learn so, so, so much off Natalia. Like, she's just amazing. So good. Like, she just, like, has done so much in her wrestling career. I also would love to face Becky Lynch or Sasha Banks as well. Or Bailey. Bailey's the ultimate baby face. So, yeah, a lot of the girls in WWE are amazing at the moment anyway. So, um, there's a lot to choose from. So, um, Matt's Philly 8 said, which character do you use when playing Mario Kart? <laughs> Babe, I don't play Mario Kart, I'm so sorry. So, um, I wouldn't know which character to say. But, um, I'd be interested to know who you lot choose if you do play Mario Kart. <laughs> Avery Watts. Hi Avery, you know what? This guy, I always get so much love from him. So I want to give Avery Watts a shout out. He's always putting posts up about me on Twitter and Instagram. Um, always putting posts up about me, always showing his support. So thank you for showing your support again and asking me a question. Lots of love to you. Did you watch the May Young Classic Finals match? To be fair, I wish you were in it. You know what? I really wish I were in it too. But to be honest, the girls were so amazing in it. I don't think I would have been as ready as they are like the girls just smashed it i've only watched the first like four episodes not watched it all so i've watched like everyone go through to like the first round so many of the girls on the british team just did so amazing they smashed it like viper was unbelievable so they all deserved it and obviously aisha ray i'm so happy for her so proud that she did um did the may young classic because she really deserved it she worked so hard and she's such a lovely humble person so i'm really glad that she got the opportunity to do it and um, like i said if like hopefully they're doing it again like in a few years time i'd love to be a part of it when i'm ready and when i'm a better worker because the girls just smashed it so Jamie DM McGough said, what has been the most successful moment and memorable moment of your career so far? Um, you know what? Going to WWE tryouts, to be honest, like that was a huge honour because it's something that I thought I would never get to do. Obviously, like, you know, it's been great being able to debut in Europe last year, being able to wrestle in Switzerland and Germany. That's been a big thing because I never thought I'd get to wrestle in Europe or abroad. But WWE tryouts was amazing just the people who I met there and um, the other athletes who we seen there like who were doing the tryout too it just really opened your eyes to to the business and it just really made you think wow like the people who are there work so hard so it was actually a really good experience and I'd say it was a successful moment because a lot of people um, work so hard to get WWE tryouts and never get them in their lives so for the people who did have them I think are so successful and they should be so proud of themselves for having them even though like obviously we weren't successful as in getting with WWE I just think it's so successful to just be able to have a tryout and have that chance and that opportunity and I really hope that they'll give me another chance in the future so the Mark Habe Gamer said who would your dream opponent be um, well back to the question earlier I guess if it was in WWE it'd be Natalia like I said I feel like I'd learn a lot of stuff off her and then Bailey's the ultimate baby face always wanted to work Becky Lynch and I've always wanted to work Sasha Banks another person I'd love to work would be Paige um, I'm not sure what's happening in her wrestling career at the moment but Paige such a solid work I would love to have worked her before she went to WWE but I was out injured at that time so we didn't cross paths but I would have loved to have crossed paths with her then or especially now because I feel like I've learned so much off of her so Robert Sylvia said I'm proud of how you fought back from adversity always remain strong oh sorry that's not a question but thank you I'm just like looking at all of my notifications um DG Connor said how is your career going now? Hope you're winning lots of matches. Um, it's going all right. Not as good as obviously it could be going. Uh, I feel like I'm not where I want to be fitness wise. 
so I have got a personal trainer at the moment I'm going to rest and training a lot and gym a lot because I want to be a lot more in conditioned. I've got a few debuts coming up. Um, I've got a debut coming up for PCW in October. Um, if you follow PCW and School UK, if you follow them, you can find out about show dates and everything. I'm really excited about that because they're one of the promotions I really wanted to work for over the last few years. They have a really big following, so it would be an honour to work for them. <clears throat> So my friend Brie on Snapchat just said, why are you so pretty? Oh, bless, why are you so lush? Bless you. Um, right, MJD said, how are you? I'm really good, thank you. How are you? Benjamin Cot said, do you still wrestle? Um, yeah, like I said, um, I am still wrestling, but right now I am focusing on training and getting fitter, just so hopefully I can perform a lot more better in the ring for you guys. Nai Nai says, do you have any fetishes? Oh wow, I didn't expect that question. Um, I really like, I'm thinking YouTube's a bit PG, so maybe don't discuss too many fetishes or something. <laughs> don't discuss too many fetishes, so I'm just like, oh, maybe not. Callum the One Mac said, I got two questions if that's okay. First, are you a full-time wrestler and who was your favourite wrestler growing up? So my favourite wrestler growing up was Trish Stratus. I admired her, I absolutely loved her, she was just so beautiful, graceful, she was great at playing heel, great at playing babyface, and I just really took to her. Um, no, I don't wrestle full time, I wrestle part time, it would be such a dream to wrestle full time one day, but I think wrestling full time on UK scene would be very hard, I feel like to wrestle full time you need to get like a full time contract or something. Candom, Candom Jacob said, what got you into wrestling? I just started watching it when I was younger and I just literally fell in love with it. Like, ugh, I loved it. Like, I remember watching like the Alliance um, storyline and literally, like, it was like the Alliance versus WWF. It's in my last video, by the way, so you can go back and watch that bit. But literally, I just totally fell in love with it and I thought, that's what I want to do. That's what I want to do, so I'm doing it, and hopefully it won't stop for a long time. Because even though I am 26 now, hopefully, like I'm still young enough and fit enough to do it, and hopefully I'll keep improving and things will get better for me. So thank you all for tuning in to my last minute Q and A. Thank you for everyone who sent the questions uh, through in the last few hours. Um, I hope I've answered all your questions, and uh, yeah, literally. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribing to my channel, please subscribe to my channel to show your support. Also, my social media links are down below. And um, Feel free to comment on the video for any future Q&As. If I've missed out any of your questions, I am so sorry. I'll put them in the next video, which hopefully I'll do very soon. Take care, guys. Bye.